Hi guys, what's up? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Vlogmas Day 2. So I told you guys that I would bring you guys along with me today when we go shopping. We gotta finish decorating the Christmas tree. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 1. I know it was kind of like all over the place a little bit. Um, but hey, we did it. I tried, I did what I could do. Okay, I can't believe I forgot Christmas lights. And I don't think that I forgot them. I know I have them somewhere in my house. Um, because if you guys know, I moved back in July. Of course, there's still stuff that is like unpacked. Um, of course, because I've, I'm the type of person that gets my house together room by room, or at least I try to. I get the main rooms first, so everything is not unpacked in my house, but that's either here nor there. We're going to go to the store and get the stuff that we need. Currently, though, right now, my oil light came on, so I'm actually on my way um, to get an oil change. I did schedule my appointment yesterday, and my appointment is at 9.30. It is 9.07 now, so I am on my way there. I actually need to... Um, get the directions and it's gonna be in the video so I will actually see you guys when we get there um and happy vlogmas day too so I'm at my desk guys and my car is over there getting done look at my baby my Nissan yeah so I'm here getting my car done and after this we're gonna head to the store and do some shopping see you guys soon my baby's all done I got my baby back she she is all good to go the oil has been changed and y'all i didn't want to drive all the way out here to hobby lobby because where i live hobby lobby is like 20 minutes away but i had to drive to the place to get my free oil change um yes you go right here get free oil changes um so i had to drive to the midas that's like 15 minutes from my house because we don't care honey free is free we saving coin okay um, but now I got a complimentary oil change. Sometimes this beautiful face does wonders. Let's just say that. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And thank you, God. Okay. So, um, I'm about to go to the Hobby Lobby. I'm super excited, y'all. I'm a little nervous because, you know, when you get in Hobby Lobby, you just be spending money that you don't even need to spend because Hobby Lobby just gonna make you do that because it's Hobby Lobby. Okay. I really want to go to the thrift store though um the thrift store is my number one place just because i'm that type of person that believes in spending like an arm a leg a foot and a toe on decorations that are going to be up only for a short period of time and then i'm going to take them down because to do this every year because to me i'm the type of person i change my decor every year so I be spending a coin which I don't mind spending it because I like what I like and that's just what it is so you guys just stay tuned come with me we got to finish decorating this tree get it done today because I want my tree done and that's just that okay so come on guys let's go up guys update so i wound up just going in hobby lobby and they had a 50 percent off sale um 30 percent off they had some really good sales so i honestly got everything i needed from hobby lobby which i knew that was probably going to be a possibility i was going to get in there and just be like you know what let's just go ahead and get everything from here so that's what i did um i feel like y'all can't see me my bad um, but it's like really, really sunny and hot outside today, which is crazy because it's supposed to be winter time, but it's like even real, real early fall. Like it's really, it's beautiful outside today. Um, but I went ahead and got everything from Hobby Lobby. So I'm actually headed home to finish and complete the tree. Um, and that way I can give you a haul, give you guys a haul of everything that we got guys seen the footage from me in Hobby Lobby I'm not gonna lie Hobby Lobby had some really good 
some really good stuff i wish i would have caught it early on um because everything has pretty much been picked over but they still have a lot of good stuff depending on what your um depending on what your color scheme is the color scheme that you're going for um you could still find some really good things a lot of their stuff was like picked over but they still had some really good um things to offer and they had prices are great because like you can basically go and have the lobby like literally the pillows that I got, which I'm going to show you guys in the haul, they were $20 a piece. And I got both of them for the price of one. So, like, because it was 50% off. So, like, that's Hobby Lobby. We all know what Hobby Lobby gives, okay? Y'all, this row is raggedy. So, I feel like I'm bouncing up and down. Um, but I'm headed home. I guess I'll vlog a little bit more of my day. Um, I do have to work later at 3 o'clock. Um, so... I have to do my little deliveries um if you guys don't know a lot of what you got a lot of you guys don't know because i don't really talk about it um but i am a hairstylist 50 percent of the time and then the other time when i don't have clients i am a um, personal shopper so i do personally shop for people um like their groceries and stuff like that um i do that when i have nothing else to do so why not make money and we're doing a lot of that this year because oh the rest of the year because I have um, an amount that I'm trying to save up by the end of the year. And I would to close that with you guys in one of the later vlogs because I'm actually going to do a vlog dedicated just to that um, during the holiday season because you can still splurge and save money. Because your girl, I know this is getting off topic, but I have been an entrepreneur since 2014. And I've been able to maintain and upkeep my life not working a nine to five so and i haven't worked a nine to five since 2014 so kudos to me um i've been able to manage my life really well actually so you can still save money and splurge because i ain't never at home <laughs> i got a splurge problem but i really wanted to go to goodwill I really want to, but I just feel like I'm gonna miss. I just I feel like there's something I could waiting for me, and it needs to come home with me. You guys, I am really addicted to the thrift store. Um, I thrift 95% of the time. So, so I'm just a thrifter. I love to thrift. Now, a lot of furniture in my house, like stuff, like certain stuff, I will not like thrift like couches beds stuff like that we ain't doing sheets we ain't doing it curtains we ain't doing stuff like that now um like stuff i know which is crazy because people i know i've heard people say okay well you won't buy a mattress from the thrift store but you'll buy clothes from the thrift store well yeah i can throw that in the washing machine and it's like you know new i know somebody else wore it but you don't know if you're buying brand new clothes out of the store somebody tried that on if they returned it you just never know if they actually wore it, had a good, nasty night in it, <laughs> and returned it, washed it and returned it. You never know. So it's basically the same thing. That's how I feel. But certain stuff I have a limit to. I will not purchase from the thrift store. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just super excited, y'all. Like, it's Christmas time. And being single or by yourself during the holidays, it's not like the best, but it's not that bad either because i mean i enjoy my long time i'd be like i need some attention space and attention um but i mean it is what it is today is vlogmas day two so it is thursday so that means tomorrow which is friday we'll be doing a giveaway so definitely stay tuned i will give you guys all the rules um in tomorrow's vlogmas day three video and we will go from there so we're actually about to pull up at the house um and we'll commence with the decorating okay so i found the lights and I actually found a whole bunch of Christmas stuff, which I guess last year, I didn't remember, but last year my color scheme wasn't too much off from this color scheme. So let me show you guys. 
So I had this from last year, which, um, I don't know. We might can add this throughout the tree. Um, but these, these go really perfectly. Like they're like a rose gold. So I'm glad that I actually found this because look at that. Like now these, I wouldn't use too much of because I didn't want the, I didn't want it to be gold gold, but these are perfect. These are like really, really perfect. So I'm gonna add these in. So I'm hoping that I can add lights in without having to mess up the tree too much. Fingers crossed because I know I needed to put the lights on first. But we'll see. Also, um, I told you guys I went to Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to show you guys what we got from Hobby Lobby. These are the pillows that I was telling you guys about. They are so cute. They just say Merry Christmas. Um, and it just has a hint of red. I didn't want to do too much of the red. I wanted. I was staying for like this. So it actually would have been perfect if these were not there. It would say Merry Christmas. But the little hint of red is okay. Because I do have like, I will have like little hints of red throughout the house so this works out perfectly i got um they are originally 19.99 i got two of them um for 19.98 i mean i said 19.99 they're 19 yeah they are 19.99 and i got two of them for 19.99 i got these bulbs which now i'm kind of mad that i did because i mean i guess i can put one or two throughout um, but these were $7.99, so I only paid $3.99 for them. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're just like white. They're gonna go really good in the tree to get some more bling bling. Literally obsessed. So, this is what I got for the tree topper. I think this is like really, really, I love it. I feel like it goes so well with the color scheme. Look at that. Ah, ah. I don't even know if you guys can see, but. You guys will see once I give y'all a full pan once the tree is completely done. Okay, so this is where the DIY sear comes in at. Um, I wanted a nude skirt for the tree because right now I have like um, a white mesh one that I got last year from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to like elevate the tree skirt. So I wanted to elevate my tree. So I wanted to get an actual skirt. But when I went to Hobby Lobby, they didn't have any of the color that I wanted. And I wanted this silk color. Like, oh, when, when, when y'all see the complete tree, y'all gonna be like, okay, sis. So I just got fabric. Um, it's so, oh my gosh, this color is so beautiful. So I just got fabric. I got a yard and a half. Um, and we're just gonna use this as the tree skirt. We're gonna make it do what it do. I'm also a little bit later um, going to get boxes, like empty boxes, and just put them up under the Christmas tree until, because I'm going to be buying myself stuff and putting it under the Christmas tree. <laughs> putting it under the Christmas tree, but whatever, you do what you do. But I did get some fabric. Um, so I got a yard and a half of this. It was originally $9.99 a yard, but it was 30% off. So I got a yard and a half and I only paid $10 for it. So great awesome love it now this ornament is my favorite um i got it from hobby lobby i thought it was so beautiful it has gold writing and it says when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy matthew 2 10. i thought this was so cute it's glass so you just have to be really really careful but I want to put this def definitely right here in the center of the tree and it's going to be awesome. I wish I could have found more. It was kind of, Hobby Lobby was really, really crowded. So I couldn't really like maneuver how I really wanted to to look through the ornaments because I really had to like dig for this one. Um, but I was looking for more ornaments that had like scriptures on them or more religious ornaments, but I really couldn't find them um, at Hobby Lobby. Maybe I'll go back later because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be Christmas shopping until up until Christmas. So I'll let you guys know if there's anything else like I add throughout vlogmas if I add anything to like the decor or whatever, whatever. But I thought this ornament was so cute and I literally had to have it. So I'm going to sit this right here because I do not want that to get broken. I'm clumsy. Also... Ignore the lights on this tree. Um, but this is a mini tree that's going out to my front door. 
and yeah, I have to fix the lights on it. Um, this is the battery operated lights. This is how you save on your light bill. You get battery operated lights for outside. Um, so for that little tree, I did get some ornaments and a topper that says Merry Christmas. And for it, I just got like the white and red ornaments. And then I got the red and green ones, just basic Christmas color ornaments because it's going outside in the front. I'll show you guys why I went with this color outside because my wreath, um, it has the green and red in it. Um, this has nothing to do with Christmas, but I seen this cute little keychain. Oh, it's pearl. And the letter S, and I just had to have it because it's, it's Sierra. <laughs> Duh. And I thought it was just so cute. Y'all can't tell me that's not cute. Look at that. It's so cute. Stinking cute. It's an S. It's so cute. It's pearl. Okay, I'm extra. But whatever. And then also because I'm fat, I got me a pecan log. If you don't know about these, y'all should definitely try it. Pecan logs are like the bomb. So I got me a pecan log. And that's all I got from Hobby Lobby. So we are going to finish decorating. I guess I'll time lapse and let you guys watch me. Hopefully I don't destroy the tree trying to put these lights on it. But let's see what we can do. Hmm. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> So I'll be back when we figure this out. Okay, so I'm super excited to do a finished Christmas tree reveal. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Because I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Five, four, three, two. You guys, look at it. Oh my God. Wait for the skirt. Look how this silk elevated this tree. Now I'm going to shift my living room that way. Y'all still see, I got a mess, but I'm gonna shift my living room a little bit. But this tree, let's just look how this skirt, what I was saying, like the silk, it just looks so good. I am so happy with the outcome of my tree. I am obsessed. So we got the lights on the tree. So now the tree, the tree has lights. The tree officially has lights. Um, we have the ornaments. This is my favorite, as y'all was telling y'all. So beautiful. Um, I found this one in my Christmas stash stuff. So this is the Virgin Mary and baby Jesus, you know. So this is a staple. Um, I had to put that. In. And then it was so perfect that it just had the cream and it went perfectly with the decor. I think I bought this last year, but I didn't wind up using it. Um, and so perfect use this year. Let's get into the Christmas tree topper. How gorgeous is that? Now, the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't light up. Um, I think I'm going to DIY some lights on it because I do want the topper to light up, but it is gorgeous. Look at it. It goes so perfectly with the tree. Um, I did go ahead and add in what what is this called, y'all? I don't know. Um, I don't know, but we added it. <laughs> and then I did add these little rose gold um little mini balls that I found. I didn't show you these um yesterday but i also got these from the thrift store as well these are actually handmade from the philippines and they are the coolest looking um ornaments that i think i've ever seen they are just like really it's really neat but they're handmade from the philippines and i'm just so obsessed i think those are the only ornaments that i added oh i did add this one um i didn't get another one because this one is really it's fairly big um i think that has pine cones in it and i think i, I just liked it because it looked really really rustic um and then i did add a little um church here 
Um, this also is one of the ornaments that I had left from last year and I found it in my stash of Christmas stuff. Um, this is what the poinsettias look like on the tree. I did leave them in on the back because I'm sorry, I don't know if y'all do, but I don't decorate the back of my tree because why? No one's going to see it. I just make sure the front and the sides are barely, really, really decorated. Let me know if y'all decorate y'all whole tree or if y'all just do what can be seen. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being lazy. I don't know. Y'all know I loved these. The golden antlers. I thought they were so cute. And then I had to add the little whimsical with my styrofoam um, snowman. I thought they were really cute. And y'all know I talked about these. I was literally obsessed with the little gnomes. And I have two of them on the tree. I added a little gnome. He's over here on the side gardening. Guarding the tree. And then the merry beads. I did think about taking these off. But then I just decided to leave them. They're just fairly big. I wish they were a little bit smaller. Um, but they're, they're big. But they work. Can't complain. And then we have these. I showed you all. These are the ones that I got today. Even though they're white, because they have the glitter on it, uh, reflects from the lights and all the rest of it. And they look kind of creamy. But I liked the little white touch because I do have these as well. Oh, how could I forget the cross? We did put a cross down here as well. Um, I showed y'all this ornament yesterday, but I forgot about it when I was actually doing the tree. But I definitely... Remembered it today and I added it to the bottom of the tree. And y'all, I'm just obsessed, literally. But y'all, I feel like this looks like a tree that you will find in a department store. Like, I did that. If y'all want me to come do y'all Christmas tree, just holler at me because you know, I come do y'all Christmas tree, you know, for $50. I come do all your decorations, put it together. I just, I'm obsessed, y'all. I love it. So, I'm about to finish cleaning up um, in here, and then I'm going to take y'all outside to my front door, and we're going to do that decorations. All right, so we're almost done. Okay, so this is the front of my door so far. Um, I have a little, a little station here. That's all my decorations. I um, bought this wreath. Uh oh. So, I bought this wreath from the thrift store, and I added the bow I made the bow and I added it and then I added this going around because I wanted the cream feel I like the gold so I wanted the gold on there so I have this little tree I got this from the thrift store as well um and we're going to add some decorations and so let's do it let's get her done so this is the tree and I got these little bitty ornaments from um, Hobby Lobby. So we're going to get to it. Let's get the tree done. And I'm going to put the little tree topper on there. Okay, so if I'm being honest, I do not like how this tree looks out here. I just, I know I need to get more ornaments for the tree. Door open. But I'm thinking that this tree would look better Door if it was open. in my office. So I'm going to put this tree in my office once we finish getting um, the bulb spray. And I think I'm going to go with this one outside instead just because it's more simple and i just think it'll look better so we'll see i'll just come back and let you guys see the full result once it's done okay so this is what i decided for for the front door i added the noel i think it was a really really cute little touch to it um i want to get a rug a christmas rug so that's on the to-do list um i added this little tree i thought it was like so much better i do want to add like a little bit more i just feel like it looks like really really simple and basic i might try to find a bigger 
tree but, but for now this is what we're going with um i have these ornaments left over from list last year this one is as you can see a shovel and it has like fake snow on it cotton balls and then it says merry christmas we have our little doggy um because we love dogs and we can't have dogs um well i love dogs but i can't have dog i have a cat clearly but this is a bulldog georgia yes and then we have a cute little sleigh i thought that was really really cute i used the little thing and i balled it up to make it look like snow um and then it goes because the tree that i got from the thrift store has pine cones on it and simple stuff so this is what i'm thinking of so far i feel like i should add like something else over here but right now this is what it looks like so i'm just gonna pan it looks really really basic um i might line the door with um garland but we'll see and then i want to add some light so i'm gonna try to go and find some mini lights um the smaller ones the battery operated ones to put around the wreath so it can light up um, because yeah, I just feel like it's just too basic. It's too simple. It's so small. I like big. So, and we definitely want to change out this rug because it's just not doing anything to the front door. So yeah, this is gonna be it for the outside of the door. Let's go in and do the living room a little bit, clean it up, straighten it up, add a little decor around, and okay. So I'm tired. I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a pan of my living room. And this is gonna conclude the end of Vlogmas. Blah, 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 blah. That that'll conclude the end of Vlogmas day two. So I hope you guys like it. It's very minimalistic. Um, I still have a little bit more stuff to get. Um, I still do have to decorate my dining room as well as my kitchen with Christmas decor. Um, but we're taking it one day at a time, so I don't do too much. Um, it is two thirty ish, and I have to. Be to work at 3 15 so i have to go and do that but i hope you guys really enjoyed the video also tomorrow in vlogmas day three i will be doing a giveaway so definitely don't forget um to be subscribed and i'll give you all the rules in that giveaway video tomorrow but without further ado you can give you a pan of this living room Okay guys, so I did a last minute change and I think I like it here better. So I changed the tree here in the middle. I think it looks so much better. It was kind of looking kind of funny in the corner and plus I wanted to put my ladder back in the corner. So I think this pan of the living room looks so much better. Option two. So let me know which one you guys like better, whether you like the tree in the corner or if you like the tree here. I hey guys, it's me. So don't forget, like I said, to leave me your feedback about how you feel that the living room was. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This concludes Vlogmas Day 2. As you guys already know, I'm your girl Sierra Nicole. Before you go, don't forget to go out, shed some light, love, and positivity. And until next time, I'll see you guys tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 3. Bye, guys. Hey, you there. Hey, hey, you there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely check out one of my latest videos. All right, until next time.